Welcome back. September is the most, one of the most dreaded months for parents because it's mm -hmm. back to school month and school fees must be paid. In Nigeria, school fees have increased astronomically. Parents scramble to pay these exorbitant fees for their children and wards. We all know that education is the best legacy a parent can give their children. Unfortunately, this legacy is becoming too expensive and difficult for parents to pay. A recent survey shows that private schools cost between 80,000 to 250,000 naira. That's for primary schools. Mm. And secondary schools cost about 150,000 naira to 500,000 naira per semester. Mm. Tertiary institutions, on the other hand, is costing about 500,000 naira per semester. Now, is this exploitation? or the real value for education in Nigeria. It's your view, let it count. You can call us on 070-8066-8014, or you can tweet at, no, you can't tweet us today because we don't have tweets today. But there are two numbers to call on your screen. Please try to call us on both numbers. Um, ladies, why is it so expensive these days to send a child to school, especially a baby? First and foremost, I, I, I need to talk about this because it's a pain for me, mm. what is happening to our educational system in Nigeria and for me schools seem to be more of a profit-making venture yeah than yeah um, Edu for educational because I while I was trying to research you know I didn't want to just be talking yeah I called a few teachers and I was asking about school fees I was asking about teachers salaries and I estimated this particular school you know first of all it says that there are three categories of schools they are the ones, the non-profit making ones. Those are the most expensive ones. Uh, the non-profit making. The non-profit making ones. Oh, you oh, and I cannot mean, afford to send our children. Is that a non-profit making they, school? They are. They are. Okay. I don't know if I'm allowed to name them, but they are non. They are the top. Religious ones. Top, no, 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 no. The top most okay. Okay. schools. Okay. You know, and they're not. They, these are. I'm talking about secondary schools, not okay. university mm -hmm. level now. They are expensive. They are like one or two million a term. They are wow. expensive. And their claim is, is the facilities, they have the facilities. But apparently, the children, is only, they only go how to learn how to say Ninja Turtle. So <laughs> when you, they all speak, but, oh, hello. <laughs> That's what they're teaching them. They're teaching them the English system, but they're extremely expensive. Mm. Then you have the second level, mm. who claim to be non-profit, but are expensive. So I try to investigate the teacher's salaries and, yes. and, and the school fees. And this particular school has like 300 students. Okay. And their school fee is about 200,000 a term. Wow. Which... Now, that's primary or secondary? This is a secondary, secondary school, school now. Secondary school, okay. And everything comes to like 60 million <gasps> a term. What that school rakes in. So I calculated the teacher salaries. Now, the top level teachers, there are about 50 teachers in the school. The top level teachers have, they earn between 50,000 and 120,000. A, year, a month. So I, I said, for argument's sake, let me dash them 120,000. One, uh, 120, okay. Even though many of them are earning 50 yes. and 30, yes. that comes to like 6 million naira a month. Oh wow. my God. A year, that is 72 million. And the school is making 180. So are these schools really, mm. and their facilities are not to, yeah. mm. you Interest, know? Interesting, info, interesting data you have there. Me, yes, Gassanzi. Um, I, I was say it's, it's a very interesting calculation and uh, our research he has there. But I'm going to say that I don't feel it's extortion when you're getting what you paid for because obviously the only reason why the parents will still leave the award in that particular school is probably because they are getting what they are paid what they pay for. They see the results. <clears throat> That is just know. my view. I, I, I don't agree with you, Sanzi. I think that Nigerians can be so frivolous mm. because you see parents, as, uh, mothers especially, of kids in some of these very expensive schools, they come to pick them in very expensive, expensive. cars, oh, yeah. in their very expensive clothes, mm. carrying their very, very expensive, expensive bags, bags. <laughs> and saying, I, came, I just came from shopping last week <laughs> from Dubai. <laughs> so, just so, that, yeah. just so, so that you say so that. In other words, oh, the status symbol was that was it a school? Now, I think the, one of the prerequisites for attending that school is you have to have a black jeep. Uh -uh. YK, I have never, I was there for a whole year, not once did I see a small sedan, a normal car. There was all jeeps and they're all black jeeps. You know, every single person that's coming to pick that child with black jeeps. Of I'm course, like, when you look this? at the school fees. You know, let me tell you something. When you're calculating you know $2,000 $2, a term for a nursery school mm -hmm. child, I mean, it's not a <sighs> university. You know, the schools <laughs> are increasing this fees me, because uh, these, these, these yes, parents are not yes, doing anything and they Mariah, feel that they could actually pay it. I, I lived opposite <laughs> that school too. <laughs> 
for a couple of years. This is every money I used to be outside looking like, 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 like a film. Would like I have emotion. money to send my child to this? <laughs> I never had the money. It's like a ah. film. Every time, it's when I'm in the morning. Okay. Um, <laughs> when they come out like this, when the children come out, gone, they bounce with the money. Let me call. Dominic, are you there? Hmm. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, Good morning. Dominic, let me ask you a direct question. How much are you paying for your child? Or what? Uh, actually, they are going to school. Because the some of them... Uh, I work in public school, okay. and I pay half of the school fees. So I wouldn't join that on my day. But other people, you know, some of the schools, they are out to make all the extra experience, and that's what they are after. Yes. And even, you know, the, the, the government is not out of it now for this time they are talking about. Mm. Because you can imagine, in Latsu, how much they pay in Latsu. In their days, how much they pay? Yeah. 17, 17. Yeah. But today, you can imagine even federal government itself, if you if you are really get from your to the university, you pay a trials uh, but like some kind of more and some that. Mm. Okay. Then when you talk of private schools, yeah. They are just out to expect parents and they have nothing to offer. Mm. Today imagine in those days, when you finish your education, maybe you be prepared in that the university and the job yeah. is waiting for you. Okay. After spending about half a million or something on the guy, you should have to leave out all looking for a job for, for six, seven years. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Thank you so much, uh, Dominic. I really appreciate your call. Now, Dominic says something, he used the word exploitation. And I want to dwell on that a bit because just yesterday, I mean, it was just coincidental that this that we are talking about this today. Just yesterday, my, my baby, my 20-month-old child, mm. came home with her curriculum. Hmm. So they are giving me curriculum so that I know what I am paying for. Paying for, for yes. They now they, they, let me read it. I won't name, mention the name of the school. They now mentioned a twenty months old, one, mm. one year and eight months. She said they are going to be doing music classes Tuesdays and Thursdays, ballet lessons uh -uh. Thursdays, uh, sports activities Friday. All this has cost too. Do not use these things to collect more money. They said she doing nursery classes, which is different from preschool classes. Uh -uh. Kimi yato, what exactly? What are they doing? <laughs> How she? Then she's one, a year and eight, eight months. months. Can you they're, imagine? They're, they're doing circle, circle time. I don't know what circle time means. But these are things that the extra curricular activities that I'm paying extra for. So is it exploitation? Because you're not using these as, um, as uh, benchmarks to collect money for me. Well, well there are actually a, a, a lot of things that they learn from these scratch schools. Okay, you are a working mom. You probably don't have all that time spent no, I with do. your mother. With, with, with your... Really? Are yes. you with her right now? I do. No, no, no. Truth, okay, yeah, let me let you finish. Sleep. Let me let you finish. She she will sleep. <laughs> She's 18. 18 she, months. She, she is... The, the point I'm trying to make is that a crutch and primary school and nursery school, they are the basics. Mm. Okay, so aren't we the one who keeps saying that uh, uh, education is priceless? Aren't we screaming to us who and all that... Uh, you can spend mm. anything on education. Mm. If you feel that it, it's not worth it, okay. then take your kid out of the school. Okay, all right, let me take Biodun's call. Okay, so you're saying that if you can't afford it, go to take your kid school. out of Biodun, the school. Are you there? Let me. Yeah, I'm here. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, Biodun. I'm really enjoying your program. It's a wonderful one. Thank you, sir. And I so much love the topic. Yeah, the issue on ground is you see, the quality of education we are having now, though more advanced, the fact remains that in those days too, we don't have all these private schools all around, and those same old schools produced the ministers we're having today, the governors we're having today, and what leaders we're having today. So I do not see it as something so, so, so important, you know, in a country as poor as Nigeria, when some people are even struggling to find their way to public schools, and some, some are paying millions or money for their children just to acquire education. And you see, the problem is the economy itself, you understand? Yes. Does not even give room for such. But the class, you know, the classes in power have so much of the fact that power belongs to them, the wealth belongs to them, so, to, so they want to be able to get the best of education. Now, look at the university system now. They also have been abstracted for a long time. While we have private universities in session. Okay. And All right. now the same set of students yes. who who did jump the same time with those private universities will graduate while we we'll still have those in public schools just struggling in their third or second year. So I, I do not see that a big deal at all. Okay. I went to public school when I was very small okay. and during my university, I met 
I, I met students who came from private universities and uh, okay. private secondary Thank schools. You. Thank you so much. I, I, in I, support I, of what Sanzi said, I don't think that is exploitation in the sense that it's somebody's business. They've opened the school for profit making. They've come to fill a gap because yes. the public schools are not doing... So we need to be addressing the main issues of asking our government uh, from local level to states to federal to fund education properly so that if... if I mean, if we're saying... Um, reducing corruption in Nigeria. People are trying to give their children basic education and they can't afford the private schools that are giving them good education. That's why they're stealing and things like that. We need the government to fund education okay. properly. Right. Point taken. Yes, okay. I agree with you to a certain point. What I think is this. If you say a school is a business, I, 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 I fail to see it as such. But it is if a I, business. Excuse me. Are you, educated? are you here to educate the children or to make money? Both. Both. Okay, if you are here to make money, then what are you giving back for this money that you are making? Mm. You, you know, you're, you're, point. Um, <laughs> with ballet lessons. Listen, talking about those ballet lessons, let me let the, I, And it's I, not real I ballet. You. I hear you. Because I don't see what the one, one and a half year old child is balleting. What she, she can hardly even make a full sentence. What is she balleting? But I hear you. It's, but let me, let me, okay. I think we're also forgetting one major issue. Edu edu education a lot relies on the parents. Not necessarily the school you're taking to taking the child to. Instead of spending all this X amount of money to go and pay to school, why don't you use that time to invest in your child and buy the right resources for them to learn? For example, that, this is my one and a half year old baby. She, my iPad, she handles it. Once I give her the password, I mean, I, I put on the password for her. She knows mm -hmm. her games, ABCs. She knows all her animals. She knows her one, two, three. I mean, those she still scatters is one, two, five, eight, nine. But at least she's able to say it. So my point is that parents should invest more in what you, the resources you can do to ensure that your child learns from home. You are an elite parent. No, I'm not. You are. So instead of spending that money to go and buy it, because the truth is that I'm almost done. Somebody in my church saw me and said, and just saw me, she sized me up. And just thought that, okay, maybe this, girl, this lady has some money. Maybe she was thinking maybe I had money. She was like, hey, let's take our child to this school now. And, and me and I went to that school. Hey, I okay. can you call, can you call, can you call thousands? I said, ah, this woman was really thinking I have money. She now went, I went, and I went back to her. I said, ah, I went to that school, you told me to. It was very expensive. Oh, really? Let's take our child there. I'm like, uh, uh, status. That's you what say, I'm talking no, about. I cannot, you, you, can, you cannot give all that credit to... To you, being a, able to, to you being able to teach your child. Because at okay. some point, the credit they has you. a role to I'll play in that. that. I'll let you Colette, okay. are you there? Yes, I've been is, holding for a very I'm long so time. I'm so sorry, time. Colette. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, boy. They didn't write my name very well. Anyway, uh, mm -hmm. good morning. <laughs> sorry. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Now, uh, I have a problem with uh, Nigeria. I'm not a Nigerian, but I live in Nigeria. Okay. Um, the schools... When you go outside, like some of you did school outside, you will discover that some of those schools are as old as 18th century. Mm -hmm. They are public schools and they are still standing. Now, in Nigeria, it's not the case. And yes, those uh, in power today went to the public schools. But when they are coming out, they're not shown those schools they went. That's one. You are having problems. Then secondly, I discover is after paying all that amount of money, we will still have to get a lesson teacher at the end of the day. Exactly. You. Why Thank am I you. Spend because I do that. Why am I going to spend 200,000, 250,000 for my child and at the end I will pay again 30,000? Thanks, Colette, for that point. For Thank you very much. I love school, you. Your own school, your children. Your, Thank, your, thanks for that point. Yes, let me let Sanzi you're, you. you're getting a lesson teacher because you just want to get a lesson teacher. No. no. You, you, you want to get a lesson teacher because I, I, I don't see the difference. You're, 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 you're going to school and then you come back home and what's the lesson teacher for Sorry. you see that the child doesn't know math or english they are paying but that, that is where your duty as a parent comes in okay the, the child's duty is to go to school and when they come back you teach them you go through their exploitation. home exploitation it is not i don't think it's, a, it's exploitation <laughs> if you're being exploited then you always have an open option you could move from there to wherever Point you feel school. you could be paying five thousand naira and then probably have if a harvard gra school, graduate i can't if wait you see you the get... public school in my estate no but i can't wait you say that. I can't wait till you get married and see, then your don't, first child don't, don't there, I will see the school don't you take the child to. Don't even go there. See, because if, if I go to a school yeah. and you tell me Kretch is 500,000 naira yeah. and I know I cannot afford it, I am running. So if you can afford the 500,000 naira, Kretch, you do. You, you, you if, if I can afford it, yeah. why? Of course I will pay. Oh, come oh, on. I would. Let me take Ajibola's call. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes. Let me take Ajibola's call very quickly. Ajibola, are you there? Yes, I'm still here. Yes, go ahead. Good morning. Yeah, Good morning. morning. 
I love your program. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I said that I have challenges one or two things that you see at times. Okay, I hear but children there. How much are you paying for their school fees? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's not something I can go into because at times it's disheartening mm. because of what is happening in this country. Mm. But let me first come from this angle. The challenge we are having, one, is because of government insensitivity to our education sector. Yes. Thank you. That is one. Yeah. But even with that, the rate at which the public school owners, I mean, the private school owners are exploiting engineers is set on to none yeah. in the world. Now, let me say this. First, if you are collecting money from a parent for school fees, why are you collecting extra money for lessons? Why are you collecting extra money for ballet? Why are you collecting extra money for so many other things? Swimming. But that, let's even put that aside. The main crisis that we are having mm. is the fact that the public schools are not in good shape. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I have very like ten seconds left, so you have to. So the public schools are not in good shape. Thank you for that point. We, we, I totally and, agree with yes. him on that because all the federal government colleges that we went to when we were younger, mm -hmm. they are now run down. Mm -hmm. So parents are now having to take their children yes. to new schools, private Excuse schools me. that are expensive. And, and don't that, forget okay. that these I, things. Look, that, I agree. So what well, I believe that okay, let us say we need these private schools. I want to readdress you, Sansi. If we need these private schools, why? But the government should look into the exploitation of exactly. parents. All right, point taken. Let's move on. The, the, we have to move on because oh. we need to move on to the next <laughs> segment of it. <laughs> but I know, just like Riker said, maybe we should find a regulatory body to ensure that these private schools exactly. do not exploit. Exactly. We should not forget schools. that these schools have their own. These schools have their own. There is a pen. Thank you, ladies. All right. Public and private school education is up next on Let's Talk. We'll be right back. Stay with us.